Hi yogis, DJ Kim. Welcome back to day 99 of our 100 day yoga challenge. A person can make himself happy or miserable by simply changing the content of consciousness regardless of outer external circumstances. Neuroscience shows that true happiness comes from being deeply engaged in one activity, a state known as flow, not buying a new house, not buying a new car, not having an incredible amount of income. Mihaly says that this optimal mental state between boredom and anxiety is where we perform and feel best. But the question is how to get into the state of flow. The key is balance. Tasks that are too challenging cause anxiety, while those easy too easy lead to boredom. So let's apply this simple principle to our daily yoga practice and our life as we plan for the positive future at the end of this 100-day yoga challenge. So let's start today's session to find balance in our yoga practice in our life. Let's get started. Please sit at the center of the mat, palms on your knees, with your eyes closed, with your spine upright comfortably. Find balance again through your spine. Meditation is all about finding balance and relax. Once you find balance, it's easier for you to relax into seated posture and you go in deeply into your meditation. Your spine on top of your tailbone, your head on top of your cervical spine. And you find balance and you remain still. As you exhale, relax your shoulders and abdomen, your chest, your forehead, everything in your entire body. Just relax. And let go of control over your breath, over your mind. Just let it be. Meditation is not a thing we do. It's a state. It's a process. So just let it be. If the mind starts to wander around, it is okay. Just look at your mind. That's what mind does all the time. And it comes back to your breath. And then relax. Let the body breathe in and out on its own and simply be here and now and aware of your breath. How long is your breath? How deep is it? Just simply be aware of your breath. Be aware of the rhythm of your breath. As time goes by, when you pay attention to every single moment of your breath, it changes every single moment as you inhale and exhale. Again, the more aware of your body, the more peaceful and calmer and quieter you become. That's when wisdom arises because you have clarity in the mind.
when there's clarity and wisdom in the mind, we see new options for the challenging problems that we face in our life. We become creative. We become able to see new connections, new associations among things. That's when we find solution to our problems in life. Please, even after this 100-day yoga challenge, I encourage you to sit at least five minutes a day. Simply close your eyes and be aware of your breath. And find stillness and silence and be one with it. and let creativity thrive in your mind. Palms together at the heart. Let's start today's practice together with OM. Um. Inhale. Oh. Slowly open your eyes and move your hand, hands. Let's start with feet stand open. Get yourself ready. Push your palms front. Fingers pointing towards yourself 50 times. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Arms down. Relax as you exhale. This time, palms pushing to the side, fingers pointing towards yourself. Ready, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Arms down, relax. This time, 100 times, pushing your palms up. Get yourself ready. Push your palms up and 100 times. Ready, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Arms down. Relax. Immediately relax. All the tension, let go of your all the tension in your forearm. Remember, how do you know you make progress or not? Your ability to contract muscles and release the tension at the end, like right away. Okay? So, a little rotation. Inhale, up, exhale, roll down, back. One, ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, reverse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, perfect, inhale, lift your right arm up, left hand back, and stretch as you bend your left elbow, if you can, place down too, and inhale, reaching forward, and right hip swing around, and le right arm on the back, Right elbow down and reaching your left arm to the side. Inhale, swing the other side. 
Inhale, swing. Exhale, <laughs> overhead. Inhale, swing. Exhale, reaching overhead. One more time. Inhale, swing. And reaching overhead. One more time. Inhale, swing. Reaching overhead. One last time. Go back. And reaching overhead. And inhale. All the way to come back. I wanted to come to us all four. Let's work on our wrist. As you move forward, finger grip the mat. Move forward. Your shoulders on top of your wrist, your hips on top of your knees. As you move forward, grip the mat once again. Five times. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come back. Bend your knee, in kneeling position, hips to the left, to the right, to the left, to the left, ankle massage. Lift your right knee up and down. Left knee up and down. Right up. Left up. Right up. Left up. Right up. Left up. Grab palms, palms down or fingertip. Lift both knees off the ground. Five second hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back into tabletop position and lift your, tuck your toes under. Lift your knees off the ground and engage your core. Protraction of your shoulders. Hold 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Bring your hips up and down slowly. Five times. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Engage your core. Up and down. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Come back into kneeling position. And inhale, lower your belly down. Exhale, round your back and hold. Five, four. Three, two, one. Inhale, lower your belly down, arch your back. Exhale, arch your back. This time, lift your knees off the ground and stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, bring your knees down. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your knees off the ground one more time. Five, four, three, chin to the chest. Two. One, perfect, come down into a kneeling position. And tuck your toes under, bring your knees slightly apart, bring your hips up, bring your arms forward, palm facing down, and go back, reverse Nordic, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Come back into tabletop position. As you exhale, toes touching, comes into child pose. Forehead on the ground, fingertip, pinky, outer edge of the mat. And relax your shoulders, your neck long and nice. As you inhale, come up to tabletop pose. As you exhale, tuck your toes under, extend your leg, plank. Tuck your tailbone under, protection of your shoulders. As you exhale, drop your knee down. Bend your elbows, elbows on top of your wrist. Half down. Inhale, top of your feet down. Chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, belly on your thigh, hips back and up high, forward, forward. Inhale, arms reaching up towards the sky mountain pose. Exhale, arms down by the thigh, Tadasana, standing pose. Engage your core and breathe in and out through your nose. And this time, evenly distribute weight through your fingers, uh, through your feet, the triangle points, base of big toe, base of pinky toe, and the heel. 
and relax your shoulders. Let's do sun salutation as a warm up two times. Ready? Inhale, arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, hinge from the hips, belly on your thigh, four for it. Inhale, halfway up, half lift. Grab your palms, pushing your palms into the ground without moving the upper body. Step back, plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, knee down, bend your elbows, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward, forward, hips up and high. Inhale, arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. One more, inhale, arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward, forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing duck. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, belly on your thigh, forward, forward. Hips up and high. Inhale, arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. Inhale, arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward, forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, knee down, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee, bend right and left and right and left. Come back to downward facing duck. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Open your hips to the right side. Exhale, bend your right knee. Stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, bring your right knee towards your chest and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it. Come up to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, arches. Inhale, stay. Exhale, palms down, plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, drop your knee down, bend your elbows, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing down. Inhale, bring your left leg high up. And exhale, bend your knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch. Inhale, bring your knee to your chest. Then hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, drop your foot. Come up to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, arches. Inhale, palms down, plank. Stay, inhale. Exhale, drop your knee down, bend your elbows, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. We're going to do one more time. This time, we're going to hold its posture three seconds. Ready? Go. Inhale, right foot forward. Warrior, one. As you exhale, bend your knee slightly lower. Three, two, one. As you exhale, open your arms, open your hips to the left side. Warrior two. Pushing your right knee out, squeeze your glutes, open your hips even further. Three, two, one. Inhale, lift your arm up, left arm in the back, wrap your thigh. Three, two, look over the right hand. One. As you exhale, bend your elbows in the back. Wrap your hands if you can. If you cannot, just like me, that's fine. Pushing your right ears against your rump. Three. To maintain the lower body to the seat. Two. One. Exhale, palms down. Engage your core. Plank. Stay in a plank position. Inhale. Exhale, drop your knee down. Bend your elbows. Half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing the. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one. As you exhale, bend your right knee ideally 90 degree. Three, 
two, one. Exhale, pivot your right foot, open up your arms, look over the left hand, bring your left knee outwards, squeeze your glutes, three, two, one. Inhale, lift your left arm up overhead, bring your right arm in the back, wrap your thigh, and left hand, left knee, far away from each other. The lower body shape stays the same as warrior two. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, bend your elbows in the back. Bind your hand if you can, pushing your left ears against your left arm. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, palms down, engage your core, plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, drop your knee down, bend your elbows, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward, facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, come up to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Let's move on to side angle threes. Exhale, right palm down, lift your left arm up and look up. Five, four, three, two, one. Look down, grab big toe with index in middle finger and we extend your right knee and look up triangle five four three two one look down slowly bend your knee let go of your hand pushing your right knee with your right arm fingers touching together and pointing the big toe and look up five four three two one inhale lift your body right arm softly land on your right knee bring your left hand overhead supported core strength now five Four, three, two, one. There's a, did you see the straight line here? Left foot to the left hand. Extend your right hand, core strengthener. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, palms down, engage your core. Plank, inhale, stay. Exhale, drop your knee down, bend your elbows, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Exhale, palm, left palm is down and look up. Triangle one, five, four, three, two, one. Look down, grab your big toe with index and middle finger. As you exhale, extend your left leg and look up. Triangle five, four, three, two, one. Look down. Bend your knee, 90 degree angle. Lift your body, let go, and fingers touching each other and pointing the left big toe and arms against the left knee. And look up again. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift your body up, softly land on your knee, on your, on your, on your elbow on your knee, and roll your arms up overhead. Five, four, three, two, one. See the straight line here? Maintain that straight line and engage your core. Extend your left arm. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, palms down. Plank position. Inhale, stay. Inhale, stay. Exhale, drop your knee down. Bend your elbow, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. Exhale, hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Let's practice downward facing the deeply into here. Usually we don't do these ones because it, depending on your shoulder mobility, it's kind of dangerous to go into it. But those of you want to go further and extend your chest and shoulders. And as you exhale, slowly pushing your head down and your chest down and see if you can touch your forehead on the ground. And palms pushing down, your feet pushing down, hips up and eye at the same time, your head and your chest down. Three seconds, three, two, one, perfect. As you inhale, step forward, feet hips width apart. As you exhale, belly on your thigh, hips up and eye, grab your elbows, bounce 10 times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and relax your palms down underneath your shoulders as you inhale lift your arm up towards the sky mountain pose exhale palms down tadasana standing pose breathe in and out through your nose and relax your shoulders and ground yourself through a triangle point feet hips width apart parallel to each other as you inhale, lift your arm, reaching forward, palms facing down. As you exhale, sit into chair number one. Engage your core, maintain your neutral spine. Five, shoulders do not shrug, relax. Four, three, two, one. Let's go into crow pose. As you exhale, hinge from the palms down in front of you and pushing, grab the mat as hard as you can and lift your heels off the ground and lean forward and bring your knee to a triceps. And as you lean even forward further and bend your knee, elbow, keep your elbow on top of your wrist and pushing your knees and uh, pushing your fingers into the ground and grab the mat as hard as you can and lift your right leg up, down, left foot up and down, right and down, left up and down. Engage your core and round your back and lift both legs up the ground and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna dump back, jump, back, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Come back into a kneeling position. Palms on your knees, breathe in and out through your nose three times. We're going to practice jump into crow, little ones, not long distance. So from a short down dog, we're going to jump, try to jump in and stay there for three seconds. See if you can do it. So jump, practice, total of five times. We're going to actually jump into crow and then stay for three seconds. Get yourself ready. We have practiced many drills, but today only the short, small hops. Comes into a small downward facing the kind of short downward facing that's just like this much and then I want you to lift your heels off the ground and jump just like this total of five times get yourself ready pushing your palms grip them and as hard as you can as you lower down bend your knee and small jump one two three four and five this time whatever you do Jump into crow pose and hold three seconds. Get yourself ready and look forward. Bend your knee and jump. Three, two, one. Come down, feet together. Bring your arms up. Chair number two. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, palms at the heart. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, lean forward, twist to the right, left elbow on top of the left, right thigh, and look over the right shoulder. Palms up, pushing against each other. Left hip back, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist to the left, right elbow on top of your left knee, pushing your palms against each other, and look over the left shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, back to center, and I want you to sit down into Malasana. Lift your heels off the ground, palms at the heart. And as you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, twist to the right. As you inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the right. One more time. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back to center. This time, let's practice side crow. So, as you inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lean forward and twist to the left, left elbow on top of the right thigh. Ideally, in the middle of the right thigh. And bring your palms down. Your palms wider than your shoulder width apart, easier. And lean forward and look up, look over there. And bring your hips and lift your leg off the ground. Elbows on top of your wrist, five. Four, three, two, one. Come back down into palms together, malasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine once again. As you exhale, lean forward and twist 
right elbow on top of the left thigh. Bring your palms down, left hand, a little wider than your shoulder width apart. And lean forward, look forward, and lift your hips and leg automatically. Five, four, your elbows on top of your wrist. Three, two, one, come back. Palms at the heart, Malasana. As you inhale, stand up, reaching your arm up. As you exhale, right arm under, bind once and twice. Squeeze elbow down, collarbone wide. Your back is also wide. Fingertip ideally lower than your nose. And exhale, sit into chair number two. Without moving the body, only lift the right leg high up and bound once and twice. And squeeze your legs, squeeze your elbows, open your hips and shoulders. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach your arm up. Exhale, bind, left arm under, once and twice. Squeeze your elbow down, your collarbone wide. Do not round your back, do not arch your back. Neutral spine with the finger point down, lower than your nose as you exhale, sit down. Without moving the body, only the left leg up and bind once and twice. And squeeze. Open up your shoulders. Open up your hips. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, release legs and arms. Palms up. Exhale. Tadasana, standing pose. Inhale, arms up. Mountain pose. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Four, four. Inhale, push your palms and half lift. We are going to jump back. So inhale, bend your knee, and jump, and back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to practice push-ups, elbow down and up, total of 10 times. Get yourself ready, go. One, this difficult, one left elbow up and down. Or if you can do, both elbows down. Ready? Go. Nine times. Go. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Perfect. Comes to a kneeling position. Hands on your knees. Breathe in and out through your nose. Three times. And relax. Let's work on headstand. Dolphin and Pincha. Three at the same time. Get yourself ready. Elbows down. Forearm parallel to each other. Fingers pointing forward. Palms pushing down. Your palms slightly inward is fine. But what happens if your palms inside, your elbow slides out? That's not what we want. We want elbow squeeze in. Your palms is inside is okay. But also at the same time, you have to push your elbows Squeeze your elbows in, not sliding out, then collapsing. This is actually a strong foundation. So create that energy and lift your hips up and high. And one step forward, lift your both heels off the ground, reaching your right, lift your right leg up high. Look at the big toe, internal rotation of right leg. Hold, five, squeeze your elbow in, four, three, two, one, bring your right leg down and left leg up. Look at big toe, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale down, one step back, knee down, and release. Let's practice one more time. This time, your head on the ground. We're going to stand up, headstand, and then forearm stand later on. Because headstand, in my opinion, easier than pincha my rasana forearm stand so get the sense of balance through handstand practice headstand practice and then pincha forearm stand and then we're going to practice later handstand so that's the goal headstand forearm stand and handstand and move on all kinds of press handstand and go on after 100 day yoga challenge you can all about it so let's go on interlace your fingers pinky inside and always triangle point. Place deeply. And again, your shoulder, your squeeze your elbow in, maintain that triangle position. Your shoulders protraction and away from your ears. Head on the ground, 
button. Grab your back of the head with your hand, firm knee, squeeze your elbow in and shoulders away from your ears, lift your hips high up and walk in and bend your right knee and see if you can push left knee up. Perfect. If this is okay, pull, place your knees to your chest and lift your right leg up as you push your left knee to your chest. And right leg down and left leg up. Extend and down. One more time. As you keep your left knee to your chest, extend your right leg up and down. And left leg up and down. Extend both legs up and hold. Five, balance. Three, balance. Two, one. If you want to practice kind of balance with it, lift, move your feet wherever you want and get, read, get the sense of how to balance, okay? And then slowly come down, right leg and left leg, one step back and release. Again, as you move into a headstand, always remember, if you are the beginner, if you are the beginner, if you are a beginner, elbows, your hand covers 70% of your weight and your head only 30%. As you move forward and your neck is getting stronger, then you can actually have, you can, your neck covers maybe 50% of your weight. But in the beginning, your, your arm, your forearm, strong foundation creates and covers 70% of your weight. Should be, should be, in order to protect yourself. And let's practice pincha. So forearms on the ground, palms down, squeeze your elbows in, shoulders away from your ears, and hips up and high. And one step, and lift your right leg up, look between your forearm, one point, gaze in, and bend your left knee, and jump up and down five times. One, two, three, four. One more time. Five. See if you can hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Down. Once you have strong shoulders and you, you can play with the balance, you can actually, you know, play with it. So that's, I wanted to, that's why I wanted to practice with headstand first, get the balance, sense of balance first. And then move on to forearm stand as you strong as you're getting you know stronger shoulders and then move on to handstand. Get yourself ready one more time. Forearm on the ground, palms down, and this time hips up and back. One step forward and lift your left leg up. Bend your right knee. Look between forearm. Kick. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, hold, five, four, three, two, one, perfect. Come down and release. Breathe in and out through your nose. These are the fundamentals I practice on a regular basis. So after 100 days yoga practice, yoga challenge, I want you to practice fundamentals as many times as you can. So get the strong foundation and then move on to advanced asanas, arm balances, and so on. Get yourself ready and join me in a downward facing dog. Let's start with the left foot again. In a, bring your left foot forward and come up to high lunge. Lift your right heel off the ground. High lunge. Inhale, bring your right foot forward and grip your big toe and extend. And let go of your right foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Strong exercise for hip flexor. Right leg back, hands at the chest. Warrior three, three, two, one, as you exhale, palms down, belly on your thigh, lift your right leg up and look your big toe. Five, four, standing split, three, two, one. Come up with the fingertip, balance. As you inhale, left, right arm up, bring your right hips on top of your left hip and reaching up, five, half moon, four, three, two, 
One, as you exhale, palms down. And hips to the square to the ground. And lift your left arm up. And five, four, three, two, one. Exhale down. And bring your leg in the back. And hands up. High lunge. We're going to practice handstand. So place your palms down. And make sure your shoulder is on top of your wrist. And then lift your right leg up and point and kick. But at the same time, do not kick hard on your left knee, left foot. And then what happens, you fall back. So I want you to engage your core. Keep as much as possible the hollow body. And engage your glutes, all the legs and toes pointed. And keep your shoulders on top of your wrist. If this is too challenging, then please use the wall. Okay, five times kick up. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Perfect. Come back into high lunge once again. This time, bring your right knees far away down and hands left hand on the in top of your left thigh bend your right knee grab your foot bring your right heel to your hip so heel to butt chest forward and go down deeply five four three two one release palms down hips back extend your left knee and inhale, lengthen the spine, pull, press your left heel down into the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Move your hips forward and extend your right leg. Engage all the muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Hips back. Inhale, lengthen the spine, half split. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Engage, five, four, three, two, one. Either palms down, fist down, wherever with the fingers. Bring your left heel, four, 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 and comes into split. And engage all the muscles, five, four, three, two, one. Palms in front of you, pushing, and lift your leg in the back. Kind of awkward downward facing duck. As you inhale, bring your left foot forward. And your elbow down and look forward. Leisure pose. Hug your torso with the left leg. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring your left arm under the left knee and extend your arm to the sideways. Five, airplane. Four, three, two, one. Palms down, right at the end of left heel, pushing up. Wrap it around your left leg with the left arm and lift your right leg up. Five, four, three, two, one. See if you can extend your left leg forward and lift your right leg off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. And come back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And kneeling position, palms on your knees, and breathe in and out through your nose, and release the tension three times. Breathe in and out. Those last arm balances are really difficult. I know it is challenging, but again, you have to find a balance between is it too challenging or is it too easy? You have to find out yourself what is challenging for you, what is too easy for you. And between these if there's a balance between these two, anxiety and boredom, you will find a perfect balance. Then you can make progress in your yoga practice. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's start with the right side. Join me in a downward facing duck. As you inhale, bring your right foot forward, come up to high lunge. As you inhale, left foot up, grab your big toe, hands on your waist, extend. Five, four, three, two, 
one, let go, five, four, three, two, one. Palms at the heart, extend your left leg in the back, warrior three, five, four, three, two, one. Palms down, lift your right left leg up high, look at big toe, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up to your fingertip and left hip on top of your right hip, bring your left arm up and look up, five, four, half moon, three, two, one. One, exhale, left palm down, and hips square to the ground. Lift your right hand up. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale down, and inhale, all come back to high lunge. And then we're gonna practice handstand, palms down, and push your palms into the ground, grab them at as hard as you can. Again, your shoulders on top of your wrist. Engage your core, maintain your hollow body. Do not kick with the right leg too much. Only the left kick and go up five times. Get yourself ready. Go. One, two, three, four. One more time. Five. And come back to high lunge. And as you exhale, bring your left knee down. Palms, right palms on top of your right knee, and bring your knees up, bend your knee, grab your left foot, and bring your heel to butt, chest forward, your shoulders back, your hips forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go, palms down, extend your right leg, heel kick into the mat, lengthen the spine, five, four, half foot, three, two, one, move forward, extend your left leg, engage all the muscles, five, four, three, two, one, move your hips back, left knee down, lengthen the spine, five, four, three, two, one, move forward, engage your left leg, five, Four, three, two, one. All these movements are active stretch, so do not go like this. Engage all the muscles. Active stretch and passive stretch. Combination of both, always effective. And move your hips back. So see if you can, palms, fist, or finger, doesn't matter. Push your right heel, four, 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 four. And engage both knees off the ground and engage all the muscle. Lift your chest as high as, as possible. Five second hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Place your palms inside of your right leg and bring your feet back. Awkward face, downward facing dog. And as you inhale, bring the right foot forward and your elbow down comes into lizard pose. Hug your upper body with right leg close to each other. Five, collarbone wide, your back is wide. Four, three, two, one. Come up, bring your right knee under, right, right arm under, through it, and extend, airplane, five, four, three, two, one. Palms down, right at the end of the heel, and push your palms up, wrap it around, and lean forward, and lift your left leg off the ground, five, four, if not, just touch, touch, that's fine, or even down, that's fine, three, two, one. Come back. I want you to extend your right leg, and lean forward, elbow, elbow, engage. Five, four, three, two, one. Fit down, come back down. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Comes into a kneeling position, palms on your knees. Breathe in and out through your nose and relax. Perfect. Almost done. Two more deep breath in. Lower down your heartbeat. Again, I intentionally adding, adding this difficult advanced arm balances because I want you to find out what is challenging for you, what is not. And I want you to add a little bit of challenging poses every day. Uh, according to science, it says 40 
not 4% of challenge every day, which is good. So today, do not, it's okay to practice the same sequence every day, but if you do every day, there's no progress. You're maintaining same status again and again, which is good, by the way, because it creates strong foundation. But if you add 4% challenge to current your sequence, then that's the best because you can make progress effectively every day. Here we go. So join me in a downward facing dog once again. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, hips up and eye out in your thigh. Grab your big toe with index and middle finger. And as you inhale, lift your body up, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, elbow push outwards and bring your head between your arms. Five, four, three, hips up and high, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, release, hips down at the center of the mat, extend your leg. As you inhale, lengthen the spine once again. As you exhale, reaching your arm, so grab your big toe, grab your feet, wherever you are. Inhale, lengthen the spine, chest up and forth. As you exhale, go down deeply as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. In and all the way up, palms behind your head, behind your hips. Bend your knee. Lift leg off the ground. Extend your arm. Five, both pose. Three, two, one. Extend your leg. Toes pointed. Five, four, three, two, one. Palms together, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist to the right, look over the right shoulder, inhale, back to center, exhale, twist to the left hand, inhale, back to center, twist to the right, inhale, back to center, twist to the left, inhale, back to center, twist to the right, inhale, back to center, twist to the left, inhale, back to center, only the lower back down, palms separated by the thigh, bring your feet down, one inches above the ground, flat your lower back on the ground, five, four, three, Two, one, kick, 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 ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down slowly. Yes, you made it. Bend your knee. I know it is hard. Fit hips width apart. Bring your hips up. Engage your glute. Engage your hamstring. Pushing your feet down toward yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. This time down, forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Fit together. Bring your knees wide apart. Hips up. Five. Four, three, two, one. Down. Feet apart from each other at the end of the outer edge of the mat, and knees against each other. Hips up. Engage your core and feel the pelvic floor. What sensation of rising in through it? Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Fit. Hips width apart, parallel to each other. And hips up, interlace your fingers, walk your shoulders in, 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 in. Lift your hips up, pushing your feet down, arms against the floor. Lift your chest even higher towards your face. Five, four, open up your chest and shoulders. Three, two, one. Exhale, release. All the fingers touching together. Grab your foot. And inhale, lift your hips up and walk your shoulders in, 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 in. And hips up, chest up towards your face. Walk your shoulders even strong and do not let go of your ankle. All the fingers touching together. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, come back down. Perfect. We are going to practice will pose for. 10 seconds. So 10 seconds hold, 10 push-ups, and 5 seconds hold, and come down. So 25 seconds, I'm sorry. So palms, fingers pointing outward, easier. Pointing towards yourself, difficult. 
always make sure your wrist on top of elbow, on top of wrist. And as you go up, pull your shoulders in and up into full Urdhvadanrasana. Get yourself ready. First stage, hips up. Second stage, push your arms and head, crown of your head on the ground. And adjust on your shoulders once again, hands, and bring your shoulders in and lift your body up into Urdhvadanrasana. Hold. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push your feet, push your hands 50 50. Push ups 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way back. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Release. Bring your knees to chest. You made it. Roll your body to the side. Release tension in your lumbar spine. Rock your body back and forth three times. One. Two. And three. Jump. Back. Inhale. Up or facing duck. Exhale. Downward facing down. Inhale, plank. Come down. Push ups three seconds. Three, two, one. All the way down. Arms extended. Superman comes up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms back. Interlace your fingers. Reaching back and up. Five, four, three, two, one, bend your knee, grab your ankles, reaching up, five, four, three, two, one, come down, palms underneath your shoulders, feet together, thighs together, pubic bone pressing down, engage, squeeze your shoulder blades from the beginning, but elbows stay on the same line with your palms, lift up, Comes into full cobra. Your feet pressing down, pubic bone pressing down, lengthen the spine. Five. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Four. Shoulders away from the earth. Three. Two. One. As you exhale, slowly come down. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees off the ground, engage your core, palms next to your ribcage. Elbow on top of your wrist, push up into Chaturanga and back to downward facing down. As you inhale, step forward. Exhale, lie down on your back, cooling down. Bend your right knee, hug your right knee to your chest. And hug your right knee to the side. Flex right ankle, bring your Fit to your chest, hook under the calf muscle with the right arm and left arm. Bring your shin bone parallel to your collarbone and stretch the right hips. If you don't want to, try this different side and hug your knee and fit with your arms and bring it to your chest. Your shin bone is parallel to collarbone. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring the outer to the foot. And inhale, lift your leg up and exhale, bring it to your face and knee pointing down to the right side. Five, left heel pressing gently down. Four, three, two, one. Let go of your left hand, grab the outer edge of the foot, extend, push forward, hands pushing down. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Bring the left knee, hug your left knee to the chest. Hug it to the side. Flex your left foot. Bring it to your chest. And hook under or hug. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab outer edge of the foot. Inhale, lift and hips. Give it a space in your hips. And bring it to your face. Touch five, 
four, three, two, one. Let go of your right hand, ankle on top of your knee, five, four, three, two, one. Bring both knees up and let grab our legs to the foot and exhale, five, four, push, push, push and pull, three, two, one. Both feet together and, and bring it up and exhale, bring fit your face. Keep your tailbone down actively. So long diamond. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Release. Right foot, right knee bend. Push your right foot down. Lift your hips. Bring it to the right side. Right foot on top of the left thigh. Grab the right knee with the left hand. Bring it down to the left. Right arm, cactus, 90 degree angle, palms facing upwards. Look over the right shoulder. As you exhale, go into deep twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center. Bend your left knee, hips to the left side. Left foot on top of right thigh. Grip the left knee down to the right. Left arm, cactus pose, palms facing upwards. Look over the left shoulder. And as you exhale, go deep into spinal twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Extend your legs and arms. Day 99 is done. You have done everything that you should do for the past 60 minutes. This time, let go of all the desire. Repeat after me once again. I want nothing. I have done everything that I want to do. So I want nothing and I do nothing. Therefore, I am nothing. When we identify ourselves with nothing, our awareness gets heightened, distinct, and arises within. That's where creativity arises, wisdom arises, So repeat after me once again. I want nothing. I do nothing. I am nothing. Just simply be here and now. And be aware of what is happening in the body and in the mind. Stop identifying yourself with the mind and the body. When you meditate, when you relax, it's better for you to identify yourself with nothing. Because the mind is always the collection of food, I mean the body. So it'll be gone, it's not true self. And the mind is collection of memory. So it's not you. The true self is there deep within. So instead of identifying yourself with the body and the mind, when you meditate, identify yourself with nothing. So that you become one with nothing.
Move your fingers right and left. Move your toes right and left. Move your head to the left and to the right. Be aware of sensation occurring through the body. Please attempt to see the nature of every single sensation in the body. What is the true nature of it? Roll your body to one side and come into a fatal position like a baby in a mother's womb. Relax. Just simply be. Enjoy being. We are human beings because we are humans at the same time being. We should know how to be. And we, sh we should know how to enjoy being in order to become human being. Lift yourself into a seated posture slowly. And comes into seated posture, palms together at the heart. Find balance through your spine. Relax your face muscles, your jaw, your tongue your neck and shoulders, find balance through your spine, relax your abdominal muscles and your inner organs. And let's finish today's practice with OM again. We only have one day left. So let's do it until the end of 100 Day Yoga Challenge. I'm proud of you all. Inhale. Oh. Namaste. May you all find balance in your yoga practice and your life. See you tomorrow, the last day of 100 Day Yoga Challenge.